Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Gruul midrange. This is our first take on Gruul with the new format. Uh, just like what we talked about with Grixis, uh, this is you know just kind of a first take, first day, and we're going to see uh, what we like with some of our new cards, what, what we don't like, what we need to change. Uh, but War of the Spark is out. This deck in particular is built with Domri in mind of being aggressive with Domri Anarch of Bolas, uh, given our creatures plus one plus zero, and being able to be a removal spell that doesn't have to really take a removal spell slot with that minus two, uh, being able to have some creatures fight. So we'll see if we do want to be a Pelt Collector deck or not. I think I like Incubation Druid more than Paradise Druid, but I haven't played with Paradise Druid at all yet. So we're going to put some Paradise Druids in here, even though I think I like Incubation Druid more. But we're, we're going to have that in there. Uh, we got some of our God Eternals. Uh, well, one God Eternal and then the Ilharg as well. Um, where I would kind of like another Ravager Worm and another Ilharg. I like, I, think, I like both of those cards. I think they work really well together. I wouldn't mind another copy of either of those. Um, you know, but, you know, we'll, we'll see, like, what we can actually kind of reduce and, and everything like that. It's possible we need to just go a little bigger and get rid of Pulp Collector but also possibly not. Who knows? Uh, we've got a couple of new Chandras, a new Vivian in the sideboard to try out, the Arcbow as well. Um, yeah, this one looks pretty fun, and it's a lot more a lot more proactive than the Grixis deck, so, you know, like, we don't have to worry about as much what our opponent's doing. We're going to just try to uh, Gruel Smash here. So let's give it a try. We'll kind of play some games, see if we change our deck along the way. All right. Um, the Grixis control I am uploading to YouTube right now. We get to play first. That's lucky. All right, so we can have Elf on turn one. Elf plus uh, Elf plus Elf. Oh, they're all Elves. It's an Elf Crab Warrior. So the problem with just playing Lava Coil on Steamkin there is it does make, you know, my Pell Collector is just a 1-1 one, one at that point. And so then if there's a Chain Whirler here, our Chain Whirler just gets cleaned up. attack now with that yeah I, I yeah I changed the deck in stream decker it should be correct now I believe should have the correct deck list on stream decker that we just of the changes we made No, we decided to try out uh, Paradise Druid with it being a new card. You call it anarchy. For me, it's just this. Come and destroy. destroy. Well, it does pump up the Spellbreaker. Uh, that you know would have been nice just to draw the land to be able to Vivian away the frenzy.
I guess I'm supposed to display the raised boar, though. I was raised by wolves, though they might have also just been big dogs. Now playing playing Vivian and destroying the frenzy isn't a guaranteed win. We don't know what else they have in their hands. But just getting like two lethal threats on the battlefield, they're both really big. They require multiple removal spells each. Just don't think they they would be able to find that much that many burn spells off the top. So I want the Shivan fires and lava coils. Um, Domri may not be the best here because it doesn't you know we can't really protect Domri super well I mean I guess it does have like the fight stuff could just go with taking out Pel or uh, land war elves So I kind of want to keep our top end. Maybe Paradise Druid does come out here, even though, like, they can't kill it immediately, but just, man, that's so bad against Chain Whirler. So if we take out two Paradise Druid, two Domri. I'm worried about casting these things. Like, these could just all get stuck in our hand. What if we play Chandra's? Ooh. Play one Chandra over that Domri. Chandra can get us extra land drops. They kill, you know, they deal damage to Chandra. It just deals the damage back to them. Yeah, maybe, yeah. It may be better to wait a little bit, um... You know, instead of, yeah, if, if you have a limited number of wild cards, you don't want to just start using all your wild cards right away. Maybe better to wait a little bit. Just kind of, uh, you know, take your time. I could certainly see waiting on just playing the Pelt Collector in general. I think I may. Um, I think we're going to make, like, a, a Gideon deck. We had a, a donation to make a Gideon Black Blade deck. And I was thinking about an, an Abzan Citadel deck. Maybe a, a Neoform... Neoform Vanifar deck. We got time. Let's make these creatures big. Yeah, I'm guessing there's just, like, Stream Decker just needs to be updated with the new set or something. I don't, like, I don't know exactly why it doesn't have the export button still. So Pell Collector is 
being pretty sweet for us. You know, one mana, four, four. Let's look, spell collector's looking just solid. I know I had to, I manually updated the, um, you know, this deck list. And they're also, because I put it on Stream Decker before, but. Yeah, and then whenever Pell Collector gets... Yeah, it was a 4-4 Trampler, because, yeah, whenever it gets the three counters on it, it has Trample. Alright, we were, like, one in a bunch with Grixis Control. I don't know, like, one in five? One in six? I guess I, I just realized I wasn't even updating the record over there. Well, Paradise Druid looks better here than Incubation Druid does, because it can add red mana. One in six, I think. One in now. Hey, Yad, welcome back. Explore draws a card, so Grazer's not not quite Explore. It just puts a land into play. All right, we definitely need to coil this ooze. Sorry, I was looking over at the... Hmm. I don't really need to fight anything right now with Ravager Worm. Let's wait a turn. This could be a Vanifar deck. Or they could draw another Biogenicus, and they could draw something that we need to fight. Just a Carnage Tyrant. Go, Phoenixes, go! Hey, Mitchin, have you War of the Sparks Day? Counter haste. We will fight the the Jedi Ranger. Eat that thing and attack for a bunch. All right. So they're playing uh, blue green rampy stuff. Hmm. Definitely like Shivan Fire and Lava Coil again. Then I gotta cut four cards, and I like everything else. I like all of the cards in our deck. We need Kiora.
Really? Just activated Blast Zone? That was awesome. Okay. What am I cutting? All these cards are good. I kind of want that Chandra over there, too. All right, all right, we got to cut something. Um, Shivan fires out. I guess I'm just going to take out two Pell Collectors. I don't know. Uh, Spellbreaker is a, just a really solid card. That card's not going to come out against anybody ever. That's just a, a key piece of the deck. That's not a card to ever board out against any deck. All right, we will go with the turn one Pell Collector here. We waited on it against. Never mind. I was gonna say we waited on it against. Uh, the red deck, so it wasn't just a 1-1. One, one. But here we just didn't have other things to do. Phoenix! Only Phoenix is great. Vivian. Yeah, get that thing out of there. It's kind of not exactly fair with the Rhythm of the Wild. <clears throat> it's like our opponent's in a tough spot. It's like attacking with Steel Leaf Champion could be kind of good for them, but I can just take it and just like swing back for so much more. Witness the ties that bind us all. Ah, Nisa. It's our first time playing against Nisa. The land shall conquer you. Will will that land really conquer me? Will it? Will it? We'll see if that land conquers me. Harness the elements. That card's good. They're at 20. So if I coil Steel Leaf, attack them with everything, they can block 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
They block 11. They take 5, 10, 14, 17, 18. Dang it. If I would have just attacked them last turn. We could do 18 to them. Hmm. Wait, we wait a turn. I can help you no longer. I could only do 17, anyway. It was not 18, I could have done 17. That would have been a 4-4 haste, not a... Not anything else. Yeah, Ritual of Sit would kill those lands, yeah. to keep that thing as a 2-2 two -two and so we have the ability to activate it. Hey, McCarty. Oh, right, I already had haste. Right. My B. I just made it a 5-4. A right, my, my bad. My bad. Alright, we'd like to draw a Ravager Worm. Oh yeah, these two are just here in the middle. Let's shuffle those up. Yeah, so I just I just messed this turn. I just messed this up with the Phoenixes. I could have won this game. I messed this game up with the I've Phoenixes. So much if I just would have attacked them instead of attacking Vivian, we would have had lethal. And then if I, even if I would have just like maybe after that like keep both the Phoenixes back, double block the Krasis, have them both turn into five fours, then maybe they can match the Krasis after that. I don't know, I just, I messed that game up. Let's give, I guess we're going to take out the other two Pelt Collectors for two other Shivan Fires to 
try to shoot the mana creatures and stuff. I think maybe I should just have two Domri's and one Chandra in the main deck, maybe. You just be ult Esper Control with the Liliana ult. Very nice. New cards means, uh, you know, new... New opportunities to make mistakes. Dang it. Uh, the one reason why to like shock in for Shiv and Fire, the one reason was if they had Llanowar Elf. No, Chandra's good. Hey, what's up, Bert? Yeah, exclamation point deck list. Get you the deck list. <clears throat> Thank you so much for the bits there. Bert, hope you're having a happy Thursday. And Static Decoy with the Twitch Prime sub. That's going to get a bunch of hype votes in the chat. Thank you so much, Static Decoy. Ooh. Okay. Oh, is the limited set really fun? Let's light it up. No, my phoenix. You will be a pile of ashes. There's another phoenix. Get a land. This is just gonna be bad for you. Hmm. See you, Ronis. So if that was the Domri, we would have been able to play Domri, tick up, add a mana, play the Growth Chamber Guardian, but I like how we are just we are killing our opponent kind of fast. Here. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. Hmm. Speaking of dying pretty fast, I guess that's going to be us here soon. Because they're just going to attack out at me. Hmm. Yeah, Domri would have definitely been better this game. <clears throat> been able to tick up, play the Growth Chamber Guardian, and then the next turn we could have fought the Biogenicus. So, yeah, Domri would have been better than Chandra has been. Not found any mana. Certainly don't win a, f a long game. Well, like, imagine if, like, the Biogenic Oozes are just going to kill us, but, like, imagine if they didn't have something completely overwhelming like that. If they, like, would have to, like, or, like, if they would attack Chandra, because, like, they can't really attack Chandra, because Chandra just kills them. So it's, like, Chandra's kind of like a, a Planeswalker that can't die kind of thing. Well, this, this Ooze is just going to get a lot bigger, so I will trade one for one with the Spellbreaker. Thank you. and 
Watch it burn. Can we survive? Yeah, we go block, block, take like 13, 16. So if they have nothing, we go to two. I don't really know why I play the rhythm there. I was thinking like maybe we need another Haste Phoenix, but we don't. We don't need another Haste Phoenix. I should have just played the Spellbreaker. <laughs> yeah, probably Cocan. Yeah, I was count. I was counting the other three three land. It's so, like even with the other three three land, we're taking sixteen next turn. Like you know, attack attack out us, block the two big things. Rise, my elemental friend. We're taking sixteen, going to two. We did get the other Phoenix. <clears throat> Haste. Yeah, the the minus seven. So whenever you minus f seven, wow, the internet really didn't like this. This froze up. There it goes. If you ever get to do the minus seven Chandra ability, it does. Chandra does do. Um, so if you ever get to minus seven, because it says whenever the loyalty counters are removed, so they don't have to, like, that's just removing it, just doing the minus seven. So if you ever get to ultimate Chandra, you get to just do 7 damage to the opponent also, whenever you ultimate. Um. But Domri probably would have been better for us still that game. Most impressive card so far um, in the about almost three hours that we've been playing. I don't. I don't think there's any card that there hasn't been any card that I have been like super impressed with or have really changed any thoughts about too much. Yeah, it's just that kind of hard to happen in three hours anyway. But. Yeah, I haven't I haven't played against Gideon Blackblade, but I did have that as an A as one of my very top cards in the set. I think we're gonna make a Gideon Blackblade deck later. Yeah, Sahili's good, Ral's good. These cards are good. Uh, you get an elf? I want an elf. I guess we got an elf, but ours isn't nearly as good. Hey, we got an elf. All right, Wild Growth Walker is gonna be tough to beat, but basically it's gonna it's Hostage Shaker is the tough one to beat. Hoping no Hostage Taker. You hit the combo with the boar and the Ronus, very nice. Correct, yeah, they're already tapped. Yeah, the vigilance doesn't doesn't do anything. Right. You just get to double the power of each other creature.
I'm good at what I do. And what? I won't forgive this. So we can make Spellbreaker. Ooh. Hmm. I'm not a big fan of Solar Flare. Rhythm just doesn't do anything later on in the game, but, you know, does stuff early. So it's a lot better to have early than later. Ev meet my newest friend. So now we can have hasty Ronus that they won't be expecting. It was probably going to die anyway. Hey, Wilmson, thank you so much for subscribing on Twitch Prime. Welcome to the channel. For me? It's just another day. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you doing something? I guess today's your lucky day. Come to me. With our twelfth sub of the day. Thank you, Wilson. For the other subscribers, whenever we get new subscribers like that, throw out your hype votes in the chat and help celebrate, please. So, how big can Ravager Worm be? So, four, five, five, six with the riot, six, seven with this riot. Not big enough to kill the wild growth walker. We are the many. Let's get Vivian Reed out of here. And we did have I'll enough to kill back. them. Just like before. Are there any cards that care specifically about 1-1 counters? Not, I mean, there's a lot of cards that, that put 1-1 counters on stuff, like Rhythm of the Wild, as we see there, just the Riot creatures, but not any cards that... I don't think there's any cards that specifically care about the 1-1 counters. I don't really know what they had. They just kind of they didn't really do very much over there. Which of course is good for us, but they didn't do a whole lot. So Soul is gonna be one of our tougher matchups. We thankfully didn't see any hostage takers. Um oh, right, it would have been a 7-7 seven, because seven, the plus one from Domri, the Ravager Worm would have been. 
when I was saying 6-7, it would have been 7-7. Seven, seven. Um... This is another mat, you know, creature matchup here where I want to just cut the pelt collectors for more removal. Definitely possible. Shivan Fire is kind of annoying though. Nah, they just gained too much life for Chandra. If only Shivan Fire dealt 3 damage to get rid of a hostage taker. Yeah, War of the Spark is, is out today. Yeah, day one, it's a lot It's a lot easier to just play a proactive deck that attacks the opponent than it is to make a control deck on day one, because everything's just kind of, you know, different and everything like that. I'm, I'm still, uh, you know, fairly confident that Grixis control can be a good deck. It just didn't, didn't work out well for us today. We lost a lot of game threes that just didn't go our way. One of those kind of days. It happens. Harpooner? Why do they want Harpooner? To fight Rekindling Phoenix? What are they doing with Harpooner? So basically every every planeswalker I guess has like that little anthem kind of thing. I would I would be surprised if we untap with Vivian, honestly. Oh, we're gonna be able to untap with Vivian. Very nice. You can't stop nature. Um, Ow. mana is critical in these matchups. Definitely want to just get rid of that Memorial of Folly. Because the Memorial of Folly would just turn into another Crisis anyway. I always survive. Right, we got to untap with the. You'll see. We did get to untap. Crisis is just a better card for our opponent to. Um, Crisis is a better card for our opponent to get back with like a find finality, for example, if they had find.
Attack. So we're basically trading our Lan Oral for their Branch Walker. Not bad attack. Both of our Vivian tick up saw like all creatures, so this may be us just drawing some lands here. Which could be bad. This could certainly be bad. Well at least we know we are drawing a God Eternal Ronus in three turns. So they did have the find, so I'm glad we didn't kill this other Krasis, otherwise they would have just got two Krasises back. Is gutsy just taking it? Yeah, this is Arena's being more laggy than normal today. Hydro Crisis card's pretty good. So Arc Bow wouldn't be so bad here, but one problem with Arc Bow is that it, you know, it is something that can get Hostage Taker away. I don't know why Stream Decker doesn't have that export thing anymore. Alright, we're on the play. Let's go with these Chandras. Let's go with the Chandras. Yeah, we have the boar here in the deck. We haven't drawn the boar very much. We played it one game. Our opponent conceded. They were at, like, a very low life total. It was against red. Alright, would Pulp Collector be better than this Chandra right now? Maybe. Shalize and Frilled Mystics with Arcbow. Instant Speed, Counter Spells, and Hexproof. <laughs> that is pretty sweet. Yeah, Chandra's, Chandra's pretty good. I, I've... I have been high on Chandra. Hopefully get that extra land. Okay, that's not not bad. Not bad. We can play that and coil. It's probably so many people playing Arena why it's a little laggy today. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I like playing Chandra here because Chandra can help us find lands. What? If our top card is, is a land, we get to play it. Very nice. If it wouldn't be a land, then we'll just get rid of it, you know? They want to attack Chandra for three, they take three. Having fun with Feather? Oh yeah, I wanted to make a Feather deck. Yeah, Feather sounds pretty sweet. Makes sense to tap it like that. Deck. Alright, Chandra's lighting it up, getting us our extra cards. Wild Growth Walker, of course, being a pain. Probably a lot of damage. Uh, confirmed, this is a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Jeez. I was like, uh, that's probably a lot of damage. <laughs> so that's 22, plus the trample. All right, so that puts him down to four. <laughs> We'll get the Ronus back. No, no biggie. <laughs> the Raze Boar. Ilharg. Ilharg. Hey, Bert, with the big time cheer. All right, maybe we can, maybe we can beat uh, Sultai. So Chandra's looking great. Chandra was awesome. I feel like we need some more Chandra's in this deck. Maybe we want two Domri, one Chandra. Main deck. Domri's pretty cool too, though. Man, our deck's just pretty cool. All right, well, if we just do that. Do I really want three Chandras in the deck, though? I kind of just want a Chandra in the main deck. I don't know if I want two more in the sideboard, though. I don't know if I want three total. I'm going to take out one from over there. And put in a Carnage Tyrant. Yeah. All right, that looks good. All right, Cho. Or Chow, thank you. Hey, King Till, welcome back. War is treating us pretty well. Oh, I should edit our deck list now up on Stream Decker. 
We'll see. We may we may switch back, but I guess I should edit it. Still, I just want one of those Chandras in the main. All right, what is this Chandra? Fire Artisan. There it is. Add. Play first. And then we put one Carnage Tyrant in the sideboard. Alright, that is updated. Thoughts on the new Niv Mizzet? Oh! Oh, I for I just for man, there's so many cool cards. I forgot about the new Niv Niv Mizzet. Oh, I definitely want to make a Niv Mizzet deck. We can do that today. Niv Mizzet. All right, let's go with. Do we drop Chandra immediately? Start ticking up. Or do I drop Phoenix? I guess I want Phoenix first against this deck. You know, we want to. Uh, Maximize our damage, and I guess dropping Phoenix first does that. Hmm, I don't really want Chandra countered. Pulled three to fairies and ten packs. New Gideon and Soren. Okay, with Tithe Taker history, some knights. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty sweet deck. All right, so that can get absorbed. And we will play Chandra. Start you want to go, up. tough guy? Sit back and watch it burn. So Chandra's ultimate deals seven to the opponent, just on its own. All right, good luck, King Toll. There's some new game. I am not going to sit this one out. Reverse! Huh. On... On YouTube, like in the... Like, you have to, like, name, like, your category. And under the, the gaming category... I, I would only just have to type M-A-G, and then Magic the Gathering Arena would always come up. I feel like our opponent's going to have a Wrath here. Oh, well. And now it's not coming up. Only time will tell. So Magic the Gathering. 
Oh, man. Magic the Gathering Arena just, like, wasn't there. Alright, so there's the Wrath. Um... I don't know if we really need this. We need a, a haste threat. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. So we could have had the ill rog like as our next draw step, but we need to find like a like a gruel spellbreaker with haste. You know, ravager worm, even just a um, rhythm of the wild would be nice. But our, our opponent's in a lot of trouble. The Chandra gets the ultimate the next time, the next turn. Uh, they We have the Phoenix lethal here. It's unclear if our opponent knows that ultimate Chandra is going to kill our opponent. It's unclear if they actually know that or not. Chandra kill? No, we didn't get to Chandra kill. Alright, Coil's out, Chandra in, Harpooner back out. Um, let's get all these vines up in here. The Carnage Tyrant, the uh, Vivian giving our creatures flash. That's kind of cool. Uh, the arc bow putting in creatures instant speed. We have so many cards for this kind of matchup. Um, I guess I'm taking out Domri because we don't really need to fight creatures. It does mean our creatures can't be countered though. But I mean, I think we just bring in like these other, all these other planeswalkers and stuff. We still need creatures. Um. I'm not cutting Llanowar Elf. We need to be, you know, we need the, the mana. I could see cutting Paradise Druid. I, let's cut Ravager Worm. Even though Ravager Worm can, like, destroy a Flip Descanta. And has haste. Just because we need to cut stuff. <laughs> um, I think it's a 62. Maybe it's... Yeah, maybe like a couple Pelt Collectors also. Yeah. I don't know if we actually need Ilharg, the Raised Boar, and so on. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. You had a game with Experimental Frenzy and two Burning Prophets in play. I don't even know... I don't even remember what that card does. But I feel bad for those Prophets. Burning Prophets? Why Why does that need to be a card name? That's... That's, a, that's really bad for those Prophets. Well, if we had more mana. Just had like one more land. All right, we can keep this. This can be a good curve. Uno, dos, tres, four. Lord of Jund over here. Certainly not playing Jund. Go, Cinder Vines, go!
Esper is better in best of one than it is in best of three, yes. But it's still good in both formats. So I'd rather the Cinder Vines get countered than the Spellbreaker. And all we want to do, like, so... Trading with the land where also there is just going to slow our opponent down, and that's exactly what we want to do with having Cinder Vines in play, slow our opponent down. Mono Blue is pretty good in best of three. Of course, you know, we do have like this new format, so we don't know exactly how good. It'll end up being in this new format, but yeah, it was pretty strong in the last format. I don't know exactly the what's going on over there. Are my shield. Hey, good job, King Tilly. Got a Fibble Thip. Nice. Fibble Thip's cool. Ooh. So, yeah, let's make a Niv Mizzet deck and a Gideon Blackblade deck. Do not untap the lands you control. Do not pass go. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Sweet. There we go. Ugh. Yeah, Vivian in a Frilled Mystic deck <laughs> to give your Frilled Mystic extra flash. Vivian's Arc Bow is pretty sweet with Frilled Mystic. Eronis has been really good. All right, Gruel is smacking him down. Hey, what's up, Cajun guy? Good evening. Yes, we did. We did get to go Ilharg into and put Ronus into play against Sultai and just wrecked our Sultai person in a game three. It was really nice. We also had we had one spellbreaker and one rekindling phoenix on the battlefield also. All right, we got a good start, good fast start here. Let's draw into some of our top end. We have not played against Desperate Control yet, no. Not at all today. You know, it's been 11 matches now. We've played ze against zero Esper Control. Perfect, great card to draw. Turn three Vivian, love it. Card's pretty scary. Hmm. Yeah, that card's pretty scary. I guess I guess I'm not playing Vivian next turn. Well, 
Well, Il Ilharg helped us go over the top of our worst matchup. So saying that it's unnecessary for the deck is not too accurate, I don't think. All right, this is our first time playing against the Feather deck. Feather's pretty cool. Until it kills me here, then then it's not cool anymore. So hopefully they don't have the indestructible instant. Should I Vivian or Worm? I guess I'm gonna Worm. Because if I go Vivian, then they get to kill Vivian. This also just gives Ravager Worm also just gives me a creature in play to start attacking them with. So we're just gonna try to race. Just attack them for eleven next turn. Are much more no one knows the wilds like I do. We'll get another. Another haste creature with the Ron with the uh, spellbreaker here, and yeah, maybe we'll maybe we'll grab a Ronus for next turn. We'll see. So we'll see if they can kill us. Um, if they have another feather in hand, of course they're legendary, so that doesn't work. But they do have. Card's good. That card's a sorcery, right? Oh, that's an instant. Bleh. Good thing Spellbreaker has hexproof during our turn. Because they do have this the sprint that gives their a creature haste, so you know they could kill kind of out of nowhere. You can't stop nature. I think we got this. There. Yeah, I don't know exactly what they can have here. They have something that gives their creature lifelink.
Because the Reckless Rage could kill a Druid, but that the Spellbreakers are still dealing, are still killing them. So we play Coil Shiv and Fire. I don't know, maybe we just try to race. We just don't play Vivian. I don't know, Vivian was good though. So if we just get rid of these planeswalkers and just have like a bunch of creatures that are attacking them a bunch. Chandra does help us race. So what other creatures could they have? Like Dreadhorde Arcanist, which is a 1-3. Ugh. Um, all right, let's try this. Taking out Chandra Vivian, putting in some uh, more removal spells, and trying to just have like removal spells and creatures that smash, and trying to be fast and not really worry about the card advantage. Mulligan. I guess it's a keep. We need to find red mana. Hey, there's some red mana. that thing again just like last time sure they could have a feather here but getting that other thing out of here very important with pump spells, Swift Blade Vindicator is really nasty. I was hoping our opponent was going to be too scared to attack. Cranko's going to kind of take over. Hmm. Did not draw the land for the raised boar.
So we'll make them use an instant spell on the growth chamber guardian here. Okay, get the Slash of and Fire in here and take out a Rhythm of the Wild. Tomri? No, Rhythm. Okay. That's an... <clears throat> that's another threat that's a 1-2 immediately that we can kill with a Shiv and Fire. All right, game three. Um, Swiftblade Vindicator is just insane. If we if we don't kill Swiftblade Vindicator, that thing just kills us so fast. You know, and it pump spells just make that thing. Very good. Ooh, you must be mad to tussle with me. The only authority that I recognize is chaos. All right, Domri's coming on in. We won't answer the other guilds. Attack. All right, this game's looking good for us now, but we don't like you know. We'll see if they if they play a fe <clears throat> if they play a feather. We'll be able to fight with Tomri. Oh yeah, double strike and trample. Oh yeah, it is. You are correct. The only Vindicator is, that I recognize is chaos. Is uh, terrifying. I'm just going to be attacking here with the Llanowar Elf, I think. Yeah. Not exactly sure how the opponent gets out of this. We'll see what they can do. We can do that. Yeah, we won't answer to other guilds. Solar Blaze. Now this is gruel. <laughs> I don't think it makes you pick when there's one phoenix in the graveyard. I think you pick when there's multiple phoenixes in the graveyard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Domri makes the token a 1-1. A one -one. So you get to... Uh, you know, that thing can be in combat. You could attack with that 1-1. One -one. So they need like reckless. Hmm. So they need like reckless rage plus something to give to Zeke indestructible.
We're gonna fight with the uh, unsummoning sick girl chamber guardian because in, in case it's a pump, if they have like a pump spell and reckless rage, then that's not gonna save them. So they have to have it specifically give their creature indestructible and also then reckless rage after that to stay alive here. Ah, they just had the pump spell. Plus Reckless Rage. So that should... Yeah, so they had the pump spell to kill that. But now we get to fight Wild with the Unsummoning Sick. Your and now this one kills them. <clears throat> Alright. Very, very nice. Good job, Gruul. Gruul keeps stomping. 5-0. and oh. Getting... All those wins back then, what we <laughs> what we gave away with Grixis. Getting all those back. Hey, Jelly. Thanks for the cheer. Five win dream. I mean, let's keep going until we lose, right? <laughs> Uh, we are we are a little over four hours. As you can tell, it's 4.11 Eastern, and so we're going from noon to midnight tonight uh, doing a 12-hour stream because we got to equip goal yesterday. Uh, we got to 40 people signing up for equip. And so we're doing a 12-hour stream to celebrate that. And so we have, we have another, you know, almost eight hours of decks to play here. Mono white aggro. Okay, this is this one's different for us. Yes, there's a redeem code. There it is. That first one there, play war spark. If I go Domri, add mana, and then like Pelt Collector or Llanowar Elf, then I probably need to block with whichever one I play. You know, I have to block with something to keep Domri around. I think we wait with Domri. I think we're just going to wait with Domri and fight like the 3-3. The three, three. I'm going to adapt this thing. Grab another one. Then, uh, hopefully we draw a land, and next turn I can go, like, Pelt Collector plus Land War Elf plus play this other Growth Chamber Guardian and grow it. I would like to, or, like, you know, maybe just go Pelt Collector plus Spellbreaker. I mean, I want to get this other Pelt Collector down before I start playing these other big things. This is probably a Domri turn, actually. If we go Domri fight... Hmm. History Benali is so good. Yeah, 
Yeah, I got a haircut uh, two days ago. Yep. A Venerate Luxodon? Don't have a Luxodon, please. I mean, definitely seems like it, how they're tapping all their stuff. Ugh, that's a mess. So, 4, 8, 12, 13, 14. So, I can deal 14 to them right now. Hmm. But then I kind of have nothing. They attack me back for a bunch. Wait, I forgot that's pumping these up. So if we have if we have Spellbreaker, fight Luxodon, pumps these up again. So it's five, ten, fifteen, eighteen. Dang, we're so close. Ah, we could do eighteen damage to them. Right? Isn't that just eighteen? Said we could take them to one. I think we can only do eighteen. But then they get to swing back for a whole lot. It's 19. 5, 10, 15, 18. Spellbreaker doesn't attack. This thing this thing doesn't have this thing doesn't have haste. Oh, it just didn't let me do something? What? Oh, I, I didn't have a... Oh, my God. Ugh. No. Well, we need to kill one of... I was just, So, I was playing on just killing one of the, these three threes. Just minusing and killing one of those. Yes, the collectors... So, if we would have the Spellbreaker and Luxit on trade... Then the Pell Collectors grow, and that's 5, and then 10, and then 15, and then 16, 17, 18. So we could have, could have dealt 18 damage there. So if our, if our opponent would not have blocked with the Tithe Taker a turn ago, if they just didn't block with Tithe Taker, if they just kept Tithe Taker and then did the whole Luxodon thing, we would have killed our opponent there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, have at it, boys. We're not in the worst spot ever, though, depending on what else they have. That was a wild animals I like. That was a really bad turn for them. No they just wonder. played Sky Marcher Aspirant. Not again. 
What else could they have? Like, what else? How do they not have more things? And yeah, they they could have played a pre-combat, gave have it flying, allowed them to have the city's blessing. No one knows the wilds like I do. That should be lethal. Then we have Ronus fight Luxodon. Okay. Man, Ronus? Ronus is big time. That card's been great. So more removal, less. Vivian. Rhythm. And Chandra. The best control deck, I think, is still Esper. Um, Esper has gotten a whole lot, but it's... Day one is, is kind of hard to find a a really good control deck to play because everybody doing different stuff and weird things and everything like that. It's kind of hard to have a control deck for day one. Hey, Zan. Uh, the pig's been good. Yeah, pig's been good. We haven't haven't played it as much as we've played Ronus. Ronus has been really impressive for us. I will be trading Pelt Collector for Sky Marker, Marcher Aspirant if our opponent just attacks. They did not just attack. A little unfortunate drawing the Growth Chamber Guardian right there. We don't get to double spell. We obviously have to get rid of the Benelish Marshal. Just all sorts of annoying here. We need to draw land. Dodger Dog! <laughs> the donation. Thank you so much, Dodger Dog. 1999. That gets some hype in there. Hey, Valoraxial. Thanks, Dodger Dog. Can we hold on? These things are going to be five fours. We cannot. Ah, uh, thanks, Santa Dodger Dog. Try again.
Dang, made a lot of changes to the Abzan deck. Man, there's so many good... So many good legends to play now. So many good legends to play. Our Legends decks are going to get huge upgrades. <laughs> yeah, 0 mana, 4-4, four, four, Anthem your team. Not bad. It's not a bad card. <clears throat> Maybe I should just put some... Um, just put some Venerated Luxodons in here. I guess we need a white creature. Never mind. No, another. There's another core set up next, and then rotation will be this fall. Rotation only happens in the fall, once once a year. It takes four sets out at a time. Oh, we didn't get to nuke anybody with a bolus ultimate yet. Just whenever we tick up a couple of times and they have an empty board, they just quit. We haven't seen a Bolus ultimate yet. Ah, uh, sorry, King Tull. There you go. You got a Reborn. Got niv it. All right, so we have six cards that cost five or more. We got two of them in our hand, which is not good, but we have got the turn one land or elf, which is awesome. So we got good mana, got the turn one land or elf. I uh, can't complain about that. Something to play? No. Mm -hmm. Alright, so they get to flip the first fort. And then get to start jamming all their history banalias, because why would they not have history banalia? Alright, Shivan Fire's good. Shivan Fire's good. Attack. Eight trample. Yes, please. Not going to be able to kill our opponent. Hmm. What do I want to kill with the worm? I don't really know what I want to kill. I guess it needs to be a 5 6. Because of these things being 5 4s. I'm definitely considering just getting rid of the Adanto, the first fort. Yeah, we'll, we'll get rid of the land. Yeah, I knew my Grixis deck wasn't going to be good against aggro. We just ended up facing a lot of aggro decks like this. Um. Ooh.
I know. How does that Ravager Worm not have reach, right? Ravager Worm should have reach. All right, so if we kill one Venerate Luxodon and we attack out, they can like have Tithe Taker, Chump, Ravager, Luxodon block four, four, and five, five, and they take six, seven, eight, nine. So they only take nine damage. We needed to draw something to put in here with this ill hark. We needed to draw something. Did not. Why am I not attacking with this thing? They're just going to chump block with Tithe Taker, that's why. I guess that's not great for me. Should have been attacking with Ronus the last couple turns. Now it's a little, little late. That is pretty nice. I'd agree. So all their creatures are going to have uh, vigilance there. So I regret not eating a creature with Ronus, or with the the worm. I kind of regret not eating one of the elephants, and maybe not attacking with Ronus the previous couple of turns. I think I think I just didn't. Um, I think I was too passive there. Commands always take a little bit. If somebody else did the command a little bit before you, you may have to wait it. MTG bot doesn't do it every single second. Catch was a big problem. I cannot kill it. Like, six toughness means I can't kill Oketra with Ravager Worm. Oketra's really good. <clears throat> Double strike two. Why not? We need to draw Ronus here. Ronus double the power of our rekindling phoenixes and just do 16 in the air. 
Yeah, we need to draw that like right now. Assume they're just activating Growth Chamber Guardian. Alright, we need to draw a Ronus. Ronus! Come on, deck. You can do it. Draw Ronus. Ronus. Ronus? Nope. This is going to be really tough to win. This one's going to be tough. Yeah, Oketra is... Oketra is awesome. Alright, Grixis discard, or sorry, Grixis control <laughs> going up on YouTube now. All right, it is up there. No, Grixis is not bad. We lost a couple aggro decks that were going to be difficult for us, and then we lost just a lot of close th game threes that everything was going wrong kind of thing. Close games didn't go our way. I just played against a lot of other blue-black type decks and play game threes and... Gonna work. Yay, Fibble Thip. Joy, what are you talking about? New cards are not showing up. Like, like what do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah, so where are they not showing up or anything like that? Like, they're not. Green elf ball deck. There you go. Good job, guest. That sounds that sounds great. Good job. Okay, E Cray's been playing my the Grixis control deck that we played earlier and says that they've been doing very well with it. The planeswalker that stops the draw Narset. Yeah, Narset killing the Reclamation's been making you happy. Very good. Alright, so let's... Ravager Worm, haste, kill this. Kill 
Kill the Jade Light. Attack for 12. Now they only have one option to Neoform with like the Incubation Druid right now. Like, you know, bet they're getting Deputy of Detention anyway. For the Phoenix. Alright, Maskler, take care. See y'all back here afterwards. No, Deckmaster is still not working. Oh, they just had... They just had that... Deputy in a hand. I gotta jump block with something. So I want Ronus to, to pump up the Spellbreaker to be 8 power for next turn. You know, so I want 8 Trample uh, to go along with like these other attackers. It's lethal. The Battle of the Gods. That's a whole lot of mana creatures. Maybe I should be playing these Shivan Fires. Also, just to try to clear up all these mana creatures, and they have their own Growth Chamber Guardian and everything. Let's try this. I don't I don't love our chances in game three, honestly. On the draw. Don't don't really love our chances here, but we're gonna try. Hey, Rex. Howdy. Alright, this could be good. Get some land drops. Great draw step. We got the rhythm Ilharg combo. We got the Rhythm Growth Chamber Guardian combo as well. Alright, so I didn't use the Coil on the Druid because they have cards like Vanifar and stuff that you just have to remove. Yay, Noah Ketra. That's good, Noah Ketra is good. Raise Boar. Trample haste. Don't worry about it. <laughs> 
Razor doesn't fool around. We go haste here. There we go. So we're going to go haste with that growth chamber guardian, activate it so it's four power, put this in also. We'd have the 11 trample, plus we'd have the 4-4 four, four and the 3-3. Three, three. I was going to be attacking with both of those. All right, we got the 1-6 the into the 6-1. Let's do one, one more match here with Gruul. Having a good time with this deck. Let's do one more. That'll get us like our first five hours of the stream done. And we'll go on to build a deck, build a new deck here on stream after this. Probably, I'm thinking a Niv Mizzet deck. I think a Niv Mizzet after this. And then, so you know, we go to be more controlly. I should play my final boss playlist. All right, this is our last match of the Gruel. Somebody was doing the deck right above you, V three C, like, like people are doing that that command right above you. That's why I didn't come up. Yeah, Grixis felt okay. We just lost a lot of close matches that, you know, had, like, opponents having the exact cards they need, us not getting cards, all that kind of stuff. Lost a lot of close game threes. Our deck wasn't good against mono red and mono white specifically, and we got paired against those a couple of times, which, you know, those were losses. Speaking of Grixis, we are going to hit for a lot. Next turn. Yeah, we had a blast zone in our Grixis deck. It didn't ever help. Or ne never had like time to do anything with it. I think it's been the it's been the least impressive card so far, out of like expectation I had for the card over how it played. But that's also only just seven matches. You know, that's a very low sample. So. this other land and play just so I was thinking I was just gonna be able to double growth chamber guardian here we got two mana three three squadron hawks Deckmaster is down, if that's your question. Stream Decker is just probably really slow with so many people being on the site, would be my guess there.
Ilharg. Boom. Ilharg. That's what a pig sounds like anyway. Ilharg. Harg. Alright, let's get the Chandra. Some harpooners. Maybe an arc bow. A Carnage Tyrant. A Vivian. Ilharg. Hmm. What do we want to do with our deck? Against a bunch of removal, I don't think we need Domri and Ronus as much. Uh, Lava Coil is just kind of weird. It's like really good, but it's also just... Maybe I don't need Arc Bow. Yeah, we don't need Arc Bow. Three Coil, three Harpooner. Hey, Sculpt of Mind. This may be a matchup where I'm supposed to be boarding out Ilharg. How expensive it is. So we got game one. Let's see if we can get one of these other ones. I don't know where the new war basic lands are on Arena or, or how to use them. I don't know. Draw a red source for Phoenix here. Love it. That Dreadhorde invasion should not be in their deck. I can tell you that right now. That card's gonna kill you. that should not be in your deck. I have been hydrating, yes. I have a jar of water. Alright, you got four turns to kill me. Opponent, four turns. Four turns, is it gonna happen? Are we dead? You're not. All right, seven and one with Gruel midrange. Getting us from Diamond Tier 4 up to Diamond Tier 1. What's after Diamond? Is it Mythic already after Diamond? I've only been playing ranked for a little over a week. We're about to go to Mythic. 
That's been about 10 days now. We are almost mythic. How many how many days do we have? Let's go to the, our normal stream playlist. Four days? We could probably get three wins in four days. Um... Okay, so Gruel Midrange looked awesome, performed really well for us. Uh, but, you know, like, this is the kind of deck that, you know, like, we're just attacking. This is definitely um, the kind of deck that's usually good on day one, as opposed to uh, Grixis Control uh, that we played before. Um, I don't expect, or, like, I don't think that this deck is, like, this good. And I definitely don't think that uh, Grixis Control is not good. You know, I'm still high on the Grixis Control deck even though we didn't have a good record with it today. Um, anyway, back to this deck. Uh, cards, I was really impressed with both gods. Both gods uh, just did a lot of work for us. Both of these cards were awesome. Ravager Worm's awesome. Chandra was just really good. You know, we started with a Chandra and just a couple Chandras in the board. We put one in the main. Um, we didn't do a ton with Domri, but it wasn't it wasn't bad for us. Like that, that tick up, the plus one of the creatures was, was certainly good. And uh, we didn't get to fight too many things, but we did a couple of times for lethal. And yeah, the deck, everything just kind of performed pretty well. Paradise Druid, still not sold on. I could, I kind of, I, I still, I think, yeah, after playing those games, Incubation Druid's probably going to be better, right? Yeah, I'm still thinking that uh, um, Incubation Druid's going to be better. Probably. Pulp Collector was good. Growth Chamber Guardian, great. Spellbreaker, amazing. Um, yeah. Deck worked out well. We didn't get to do anything with Arcbo, either Vivian in the board. Didn't ever draw either of those cards. Only boarded them in a couple of times. Uh, but good, uh, good, solid list if you want to play games right away. As you saw, like, Gruel Midrange is a good option for you uh, here at the beginning of the format. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, thanks.